Hey everyone, today is just going to be a short video on programs because I feel like in terms of not only a feel, I see, I see clearly that on social media and in terms of programs, they seem to be very glamorized and fancy and they make you want to hop from one program to another program to an online coach to another online coach because something's been tweaked and something looks more fancy or an exercise looks more oh my god it's targeting more than the basic x exercise whatever it is the best programs for most of your goals are repetitive and follow the basics they focus on the basics and then you will find the coach that has some exercise and some techniques that better target certain muscle groups of what would be your goal. But those exercises and the whole program cannot only be on that specific particular exercise and technique because you need to remain balanced in all your foundations. So one classic example is people that train legs and this is very common in men women i'd say i've seen the women that come to the gym that train their glutes only and forget their upper body men when they're training legs i'm not seeing them training fully their legs they will be there will be those that work hard squatting uh possibly hamstring quads you need to work your abductors and adductors and your glutes to balance the whole legs to avoid back pain to also depending on your body posture and technique and form within the compound movements a coach can tell you what areas or muscles are tight or need working on and that's why a coach is great because you'll be like oh i've got bad knees i've got bad back i'm not really sure but i can squat this much but a coach will be able to tell you actually you're collapsing more on the right side which is why this is happening this is happening this is happening we need to work on this muscle let me test if this muscle is tight that's opposing onto this muscle that's causing this to do that that's where a great coach comes in helps you balance the foundations uh, and the techniques and also um gets your muscle fibers to adapt to those where you start to have muscle soreness and in addition if you've got a specific goal of like i don't know bigger biceps triceps then they will also work on techniques different techniques in terms of hitting the different um, muscle fibers and groups within for example the bicep the tricep so that it forms not only um, an apparent formation of your muscle form and what you can see when you flex but the muscle within the muscle fibers are actually trained as well so while the basics may seem boring it's not so boring when they produce the results and help you sustain and achieve that particular goal but also you're sustaining your health from basics of posture for example or avoiding having um, a certain joint hurting you because of going in the gym um, doing a wrong form or technique where I've been there I've been there with my knees because I was on a journey and maybe I was doing something wrong I'm not there anymore I look at I, even though I know I'm very aware of my form I'm very aware of as soon as I feel that it's not I'm not hitting something in the right place if I'm trying to target a muscle from a different angle I'll try something new if it works where I'm feeling it on that muscle side or the muscle groups angle then fine if I'm not then I need to tweak something and it could just be a position of my body or it could be the actual exercise so while some programs may seem like they're incorporate too many basics It's the basics that work and don't keep hopping from program to program maybe it's not been the coach maybe it's not been the right program but don't do a program and then think actually this program has this this person that's 
doing uh, delivering this program has this body, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, when you keep bouncing around the different programs every week, or different online things, it's hard to get good at the things that you're trying to learn. It's also hard to tell if you're getting stronger. It's also hard to do progressive overloads. And by progressing overload, you're actually getting stronger. You're seeing results. You're seeing how you are progressing. Stop looking for the fancy. Stop looking for the glamorized. Stop uh, the program hopping. Um, the basics work. You can ask anyone who has built a physique you admire and they, they got better through repetition. They got better through mastering the basics. And that's why also never sort of feel if someone is not using weights, but using isometric holds that you cannot achieve certain goals. Stick with the training program for at least four to eight weeks before changing things up. The idea that you need to change things up for every week for the muscle uh, for the muscle confusion needs to be put away. I don't know where the hell that come from. There is muscle confusion, but not every week or every two weeks. Getting on a progressive overload lifting program if you want to build muscle is needed. Progressive overload simply means doing more over time. It's not only adding weight to be clear, by the way, and adding reps, improving form, technique, isolation holds, getting more range of motion, utilizing appropriate rest periods, better exercise selections, all are forms of progress as well. Um, and that's why when you are also working with a coach, they might swap it up. And that's why sometimes you will progress to a very heavy amount of, for example, a deadlift or a squat, but come to isometric holds with minimal weight, you're struggling. So um, I just really wanted to put that out there. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it put some dots on there. If you've got any questions for me, put them in the comment box. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care of yourselves.